New tonight, the college student who made international news for tracking Elon Musk's private jet is making news again. Yeah, this time he's tracking the jet used by Governor Ron DeSantis. Fox 35's John Brown has more of this story tonight. So, John, what is the student saying about all of this? Well, Luann, Jack Sweeney has made quite a name for himself in the two years while a student at UCF. The wealthy and powerful people he's tracking on social media may not like what he's doing, but he tells us he's only using information that is publicly available. The jet that I am tracking is related to state matters, but uh, I still think it's like rather interesting to see. UCF rising junior Jack Sweeney is at it again. He's tracked the jets of Elon Musk and Donald Trump, and now it's Governor Ron DeSantis. It's just something I have interest in, nothing like crazy. I, I try to develop and share what I do and uh, hope people take interest in whatever they have, a, per a person they're interested in and what planes are related to those people. The first tweet on the account named DeSantis Jet showed that he was going from Tallahassee to Tampa on May 17th and then back. But it should also be noted that there's no guarantee that the governor is on those flights. As I become aware of, also other companies have said that, you know, he's taking donor flights like for personal matters of running for president. Um, I'll also share those as I become aware of those. This tracker could also have political implications, unlike Musk Jet. That's because there may be wealthier, influential guests on board. And there was also a law recently signed in Tallahassee that allows the governor to redact who's flying with him. I think there's a lot to learn from uh, people's flights and like, if he flew somewhere that's out of the unusual, which I'm sure someone will find out before just my jet, but like if he went somewhere, it might be to show that where he's announcing or something like that or anything related to their travels could be some kind of big deal. You may remember that he even turned down an offer of $5,000 from Musk to delete that Twitter account. Well, he says it's not about the money, it's about sharing information and maybe a job down the road. I hope it like, you know, helps me find a job or some career related to aviation and software, stuff like that. Um, you know, good connections, yeah. Hey, he's way ahead of the game, right? Now, one thing that he's doing this time around that is that he can no longer live tweet the Jets' location. That's due to a change in Twitter policy, so it's delayed by 24 hours. So we're not going to know exactly where they are at all times. So that's the story. Ray, we'll send it back into you. All right, John, thank you.